Okay, today we are going through four hot tests that we do when we are testing clients who have had ACL or knee surgery when they are returning to sport. Now these are the tests that we get them to do to test their stability and function and strength to see if they are fit and ready to go to the next stage or go into sport or start training for sport. So there's four that we're gonna go through and no particular order, but the first one was gonna be a single leg hop for distance. So this first one, as you'll see, we've got our lines up on the grass here. Now, this one you're gonna go from, doesn't matter which leg, but you're gonna compare the left and the right. So say their ACL leg was their right leg, you're gonna compare that with their left leg, and you're gonna see how far they can go with one hop, all right? So we've measured out on these blue lines actual distance, but when you do that hop, they've gotta start from the same spot on a line and then you've got to go for distance so you when you land you've got to land and stick the jump okay you can't go and land and fall over meaning you can't go and go as far as you can and then keep going so it's as far as you can go but you've got to stick the jump and you've got to land with stability and not fall over so what i mean is i'm going to jump land and hold it like that okay and then obviously compare that with the other leg so if my other leg only went to sort of there, then that's not within sort of 90, 95% of the other leg, and they would have to work on the strength, stability, and control for that to test that hopper every time and see if they get to the point where they're within the limits, and then they can start their return to sport phase. So the first one's our single leg hop. Now, the other thing you want to be looking at with a hop too is making sure when they land, they're not landing and diving in. So there's also a technique thing with that landing hop, and some part of our rehab that we do with the hopping is we actually work on small amounts of hopping and making sure that they don't start buckling in or losing form with that then the test is can they what's the distance they can get out of that and keep their form so that's your first one the second one we do for acls is our triple hop for distance so this is a single leg hop test three times but landing with the third one sticking the jump. I'll show you what I mean. So you're going for as far as you can three times on landing. So that's why they call it a triple hop. So you're gonna go from one, two, three, and land the hop, okay? So you can't go so far again, like with the single leg hop, you can't go so far that you fall over. So this is what you can't do. You can't go bounding, bounding, and then trying to keep going, okay? It can't be three and then fall over has to be the third one, you have to stop, okay? So I would definitely get a line track like this so you can actually measure how far. So when they land, you measure the distance from when they started. So if I go from my ACL leg and go for as far as I can go, one, two, three, and then you measure that distance and then compare it with the other one. So again, your other one needs to be maybe 90, 95% as close to the other side. So it doesn't really matter within reason how far you go. That does depend on what sort of athlete you are, how tall you are, how strong you are. It's about the other side, okay? So if your other side, you can only sort of do that. You know it's a long distance. You measure the distance, measure the percentages, and you've got to try and make up that percentage to try and improve that over time. And that will be yeah, we test that and that's what we're gonna look at in our strengthening and stability routines that we do with our clients to get them to that point so we know they're safe to go return to sport. So just run through that one more time. You're just gonna go triple hop for distance. Remember it's a one, two, three and land. And that's where you're gonna measure. Okay, now the one that's even better than that, number three, is your crossover hop now with this one you're going to go three times again but you're going to start laterally you're going to cross over a double line like this which is 15 centimeters apart okay so you're going to you have to cross over the line and you're going to go medial first with one foot then lateral then medial now of course you're not going to go as far as a triple hop for distance Okay, but you're going to go for a distance, but cross over this time. So if I'm going to go medial, I'll go medial, lateral, medial. Now you see in the first one, I hit the line. So you're not allowed to hit the lines with that. 
So this one, you're going to go look at those lines. One, two, three, and again, hit the line again. So these ones take practice, and sometimes even practicing the test is part of the drill that gets the person better. So we'll try again. One, two, three, and again, you've got to land that jump. Got to land with stability. You can't step over or fall over. Because some people will go and try to go too far to get the distance or get the width, but they can't hold or stick the jump at the end, and that's the important one. All right, so triple up distance, and then you also go to the other side, okay? So again, if you're starting on your left foot, you're gonna go medial, as in to the right, if you're on your left foot, and then left, and then right again. So lateral, or medial, lateral, medial on the left leg. So that's this way, one, two, and then three, and land. Now ideally, when you land, land and hold and stick, don't land and then put one foot down. If they put one foot down, try again. Okay, and give yourself maybe two or three goes of that to warm up and get used to it and then measure what the third one is at the end to see what the difference is left versus right. You can see this is tiring stuff. Now, the fourth one, which is one of my favorites, apart from that one, is your side hopping or lateral hop. Now, this one here, we've set up two strips you can see here. Now these are 40 centimeters apart, okay? So from edge to edge, it's 40 centimeters. And this is a 30 second hop test, okay? So on, again, single leg. On the single leg, can you hop either side of that? So if I land and then land there, I've got to be on the side of that. Doesn't matter how far away from that blue line, as long as I don't touch that blue line, and then back again, I've got to do as many as I can within 30 seconds, okay? So it's more of an endurance type thing. How many can I get, a capacity if you like, how many can I get done with stability and not hitting the line, okay? So if you watch, if I try and do this, you've just got to be try and be even, and you can try and just, the quicker you go, the more you're going to get in, right? And you just got to try and keep doing this for that period of 30 seconds. And for someone who's had a ACL recon, it's quite hard, okay? So they might end up getting 10, they hit the line a few times and then they're out, okay? So this one is a really good way of testing their medial and lateral strength, stability, endurance, like their capacity to, can you hop left and right, medial, medial and laterally, continuously for a long enough period of time to sort of grant you the, uh, the okay tech to go and play sport. So that's a really, really important one. Just like the crossover for distance, that lateral medial movement for MCLs, ACLs, and meniscal surgery is so important for that person returning to sport. And again, compare it with your left and your right. Some people like that are gonna have differences left versus right anyway. Okay, so someone who's perhaps a right-footed kicker may be a bit better on their left leg because that's their jumping leg, okay? And it may depend on a bit of that, might be 5% difference there. But also, is that the ACL leg or is that the ACL leg? So those things are gonna be taken into effect, but at the end of the day, you still want it within 5% left versus right, okay? So next thing we're gonna work on is capacity. See you then.